the lovey i am so thrilled to talk with you about the craft you are so great in it and you know it's such an iconic film to see rebooted and the fashion sense is one of the things people love about it what do you think is going to be the statement piece or you know the beauty trend that people are going to like from the craft legacy i okay i know i love my character but i'm gonna have to say they're going to love lourdes's whole like closet i feel like she's just like pulling like looks out the bin like ha, this is for fun uh so definitely that also like just um keeping the scheme with like your element all the girls were really good at that uh tabby like wearing all the warm colors for fire and like um frankie just doing whatever up in the air for air and and lily just being a little more you know water sign blues and put together outfits so i think that reflection i hope people take away <laughs> yeah i know i loved it and you're right about lourdes that character i was like oh but it, I mean, it was like is she even in high school like with this <laughs> eye <laughs> she's no, going Tabby literally brought the fire though i loved like the combination of colors <laughs> And you kind of even touched on like your character has warmer colors. There were a lot of like bold pieces, a lot of glitter. Um, how do you think this sort of like softer aesthetic plays into the message of this film? Because, you know, the original was pretty dark. Yeah, yeah. I think it's um, trying to say like the weirdos and the witches of today don't have to be just wearing black and don't have to be like the stigmatized witch that everybody's like they're not that attractive and like they're wearing black and they have this hat and this broom. I feel like that's not really what reality is. I feel like your modern day witches in 2020 are wearing some Nike Air Force Ones and like some baggy cargos and is probably just chilling or she wants to have a youtube channel and pull looks just left and right you know like that's what i feel like today the modern witch is like trying to say like we still are people that have lives like active lives at that um <laughs> and it's funny that you actually say that because i mean your character you know i love that she had her natural hair you know she even comments on you know i would like to have more black friends but race and her beauty culture didn't seem to be like the burden or the thing that carried her storyline. So yeah. I would love to know from you, um, why do you think it was important that Tabby was presented that way? And what message do you think it has for black girls? I think um, my character, I, I think they did this with every character, but for my character, I think based, like with the original film, they didn't touch too, 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 too much on the life of the black girl. And I mean, they showed like little glimpses of what that looks like, but it was like Never that care. heavy hitter, like we all know, you know, but I think with this craft, it was more so, you kind of got to see the lifestyle of a black girl without, without it being like, so traumatizing in the sense that you see every bad thing that she has to deal with regards to like racism and all that other stuff. I feel like that's already inside the world. And I know, like, I like that Tabby was also grounded in herself and didn't let it affect her or become her identity. And I also like the fact that you still got to see in her world without that being her identity. You know, like you got to see her outside of being the black girl. She was just like that cool witch, <laughs> but. <laughs> you know so i like i like that that wasn't her like she was able to have a life and a lifestyle outside of that but with that yeah, definitely i think a lot of like young girls hopefully can see you know that message and just lead and just have joy in their life mm -hmm. um, and my last question for you is you know i love that in the film there's that you know your difference um your difference is your power so i'd love to know what yes. do you think of that statement how does it apply to you I've been saying that like all day like that's what I hope people take away from the film like your difference is your power like for me that that means just having that one thing that like keeps you going is like what's really going to attract you to the life that you deserve you know it, it, it the the one thing that isn't influenced by others i feel like is going to attract you to the people like your tribe and i feel like that's what attracted lily to her tribe and what attracted us to like our whole tribe and how we became a coven in the film you see that and you see that like because like we're all so completely different <laughs> and we're all somehow like together. I feel like it's because we're accepting of each, like where we come from, where we stand and like what our power is. So I definitely hope that if they don't walk away wanting to be a witch or a tabby for Halloween, then hopefully 
<laughs> they can learn to, you know, accept their difference is their power. <laughs> yes, I love that. Thank you so much for your time today, Liv.